Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do a carbon clean video today on a 760 BMW, so I'm going to show you that in a sec, just behind me here. So, like I said, 6 litre twin turbo V12. It's basically N two N55 engines pretty much joined together, so it is direct injection. And as we all know, carbon buildup is always a problem on direct injection engines. The best way to actually clean it is actually take the manifold off, the inner manifold each side. We're going to see what we can actually achieve with this carbon clean. We're going to do a miles per gallon test. I'm not going to use the emissions machine we've shown before that it does reduce emissions. So it's just going to be interesting to see what we can actually get out of this on the motorway. We're going to do probably 60 miles an hour um, and let's see from there how we get on. Guys, so we're just about to do the miles per gallon test. We're going to do it at 60 miles an hour. So everything's set up. We're on the cruise. We're just resetting this now. Hi guys, so we've averaged 33.1. So we'll head back to the garage, put the carbon clean machine on. This car is going to take a good couple of hours because it's a 6 litre V12, like I mentioned earlier. It is direct injection, so it's going to be interesting to see when we repeat the test. Cruise control, 60 miles an hour, same conditions hopefully, because it's literally only going to be in a couple of hours time. And we'll see if it's had an impact. Um, and we'll ask the owner as well if it feels any different. So let's head back to the garage. Guys, so obviously this size engine, there isn't much space to work on, so we've identified where we're going to inject it, which is just here. It's got to go in where the air goes. So, Guys, so we've set the machine up. You've probably seen some of my other videos. Uh, it's a small machine, but it does the job. Um, it's just really for kind of YouTube videos and things, but definitely, definitely had good results from using this. So this is it. Uh, 760, 6 litre V12, twin turbo, direct injection. Let's see what impact it's going to have. We're going to inject it here just onto one bank uh, and see how it goes. So, do you want to start it up for us? Man, listen to that. Then just open it up and let it run. Guys, I can't tell you how smooth this is. That noise you hear, that's the high pressure injectors. So they all sound like that. I mean, it's just so smooth. Hi guys, so we're gonna go and do the second MPG run now. We've done the carbon clean. Let's see, the number to beat here is 33.1 and the conditions are still the same, the speed's going to be the same so it'll be really interesting to see how we get on. guys so we achieved 35 miles per gallon so it's gone up by 1.9 so it doesn't seem like a huge improvement but it's about seven percent so that's enough nothing to be sniffed at it's definitely worthwhile 
and the car definitely feels a lot smoother as well and we've done quite a few of these videos now so I've shown that it does work with the emissions just really keen to show you guys what it would have done on a V12 and you know you're doing your bit for the environment although that's probably not the main reason we would do it but if you gain a bit of performance out of it why not I think one of the next videos I'll look to try and do something on a rolling road uh, especially with remaps and things and see what difference is going to make in terms of power talk I've seen some other videos where people have achieved 10 12 horsepower more on naturally aspirated cars so it'd be interesting on a turbo car like this what would the difference be anyways thanks for watching if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and family and I'll see you in the next video